Here's a question that was sent to me the other day. The individual wanted to know if they could simply put a pier on top of a concrete slab and have it work. The same thing as kind of like a footing or something like that. And it's not really going to work all the time. I'm not saying it won't work at all, but you won't have a footing underneath it. Usually piers require a footing of some sort underneath them to transfer the weight. Now the second option would be if you're going to use a pier, you could always just get a post base and bolt it to the concrete and this would require you to drill a hole into the concrete. Now one more thing I'd like to mention, if you do use a pier, it's going to need to be somehow connected to the concrete. Wouldn't make a lot of sense to put a post and carry a structural load without with this thing, the pier being able to move from right to left, let's say north to south or east to west kind of a thing. Not going to make a lot of sense. This one, of course, will be bolted to the ground. And this one here, which would be recommended by most engineers, would require some structural hardware that sets into the concrete, doesn't bolt into it, would actually set into it. Take a look at it here. You will need to cut a hole in the concrete slab. You can use a concrete saw for that. Those are available at your local rental yards. And then, of course, you will need to get your post base, and those can be found along with the concrete at your local home improvement centers or lumber yards. The concrete mix I would recommend to be at least 2,500 PSI. Make sure you don't get any stuff for fence posts that's just recommended. Hey, just add water. You don't even have to mix it. Probably not going to work out well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it would look like if we cut a section through here. And you can see here where the footings are supporting the exterior walls, the weight from the roof, the ceiling joist gets transferred to a footing. This is the same thing you're going to try and accomplish with something like this. And in order to do that, we have to take a look at what is recommended by an engineer. And you would need a larger footing to distribute the weight a little more evenly. Over here, we don't have that. We have a concrete pier that's sitting on top of four, five, or six inch thick slab. And you can see here where the weight, and I'm about to suggest that something like this or this won't work. I've just seen it too many times. I've seen people just bolt stuff on to concrete slabs and never have a problem with it. I've seen it with patios and you know someone builds a four inch thick concrete slab and built a patio on top of it without any footings. I've seen it too many times. Not going to be something that your local building authorities, building department, or engineers are going to approve. They're going to want to see the footing. And again, sometimes putting a footing in, doing it the way that an engineer or your local building officials might recommend, might actually be the best way to go instead of doing something like this. Last but not least, just kind of wanted to show you what the foundation would look like. We removed the dirt and pulled the whole building up. Take a look at it. You would have a concrete foundation or a concrete footing attached to the foundation. And that would support your post. So this right here is what I would recommend. This stuff right here, let's just say might or might not work. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.